There's a huge labor shortage in this country right now, which is giving high school kids the opportunity to make a hundred to two hundred dollars per hour doing basic home service cleaning businesses. And I'm going to show you how I started my business and the three steps I followed to get it going and then the cycle that I used to build it from where I was making about 30 an hour when I started to making 100 to 200 per hour consistently and how you can do the same. First of all, I highly recommend starting a service business, not a product business. You don't want to be dealing with inventory and stock and having to like get stuff shipped on time. It's a headache. Trust me, do something that you can like buy equipment for pick up, do one day, and then not do it for a week, and set your own hours pretty much. Do physical product businesses later. Stick to something that's more manageable like uh, power washing. I could go buy a power washer, make a thousand bucks in a day, not touch it for a month, and then use it whenever I want after. It's not the same with product businesses. What I'm going to be talking about today is specifically home cleaning service businesses because that's what I have experience in. I've been running sunburst window cleaning for a year now. I understand the market. I understand power washing. I understand gutter cleaning. I don't understand other businesses like um, hair cutting or piano tuning or video editing or photography. Those all still work with the same uh, rules that I'm going to say today and the same steps. But this is mainly for stuff like landscaping, window cleaning, carpet cleaning, power washing, gutter cleaning, anything you can think of. Like, If you need inspiration, just look around your house, see what needs to be done, and I guarantee people will pay to have whatever problem you see solved, um, and that's a great way to get started. All right, so the first step to this whole process is to get equipment. So for example, if you're starting a window cleaning business, there are websites that cater exactly to what you need. They have everything you could think of. There's the same for power washing, gutter cleaning, any service business, if you just Google power washing equipment, guarantee a bunch of stuff comes up and all of that is your friend. And so there's two ways to do step one. You can either borrow equipment or rent it or you can buy it. Um, and if you're starting with very, very, very little money, I would recommend renting or borrowing. Um, and this may determine what business you start. If your friend has a power washer that they don't use, Borrow that for a couple days and make enough money to buy your own and then give it back. You know, if you don't have that option, try to save up 50 bucks so you can rent one from Home Depot and then save up enough to buy your own. But if you have more than like 300 bucks in the bank right now and you're willing to invest it in yourself, just go ahead and buy the equipment if you're sure you can put enough hours to pay it off. And, you know, you can buy all of this stuff at Home Depot. Again, there's specific sites that cater to exactly the business model that you might be looking at. You know, for gutter cleaning, you might just start with a ladder, right? That's only 100, 200 bucks. Most people actually have a ladder in their home already, so you probably don't even need to buy it. Carpet cleaning, you can buy a carpet cleaner for 100, 200 bucks. Window cleaning is very cheap. You know, to start, you just need a squeegee, a pole, a scrubber, and some soap. Probably 50 bucks total if you wanted to stay on the low end. Yeah, so there's two ways to do it, borrow and rent which you're going to you know, save up enough to buy eventually, or you could just buy it outright. And then step two, you have to learn how to use your equipment. So this means do your house or do your friend's house first before you charge anyone. Don't try to go in and go door to door and try to sell whatever you can do before you've even done it on your own house. So when I started my window cleaning business, I washed my own house first, then I went to my neighbor, and then I charged. I probably should have, you know, practiced a bit more than a couple houses before I started charging, but you just got to get a feel for it. You know, watch YouTube videos. There's always YouTubers that will show you exactly how to clean gutters in a specific way or, you know, the internet is your friend in this and you can find anything you could think of on there. The third step is to promote your business. This is the most important and this is also the hardest for some people. For some people, this comes very easy. Go down your entire contact list on your phone and just, you know, text the people who you think might be interested. Don't try to sell your friends on this. Just ask them if they know someone who might be interested. You know, like ask your parents to make a post for you on their Facebook. Just, you know, mentioning, oh, my kid started a, a power washing business. Would anyone like to help them get started? 
and that works for every single business. The best marketing thing I've ever done was <laughs> I uh, I gave one of my teachers a free window cleaning if he made a post on Facebook for me, which got thousands of views from you know all parents who were local and ended up making me a lot a lot more money than it cost me to do his house branch off other people's community right like ask your friend if they can put your business in their story and link it back to your page and that'll that's an easy way to get a ton of free reach and free audience without having to build your own and then everyone you meet just mention oh hey i have a gutter cleaning business let me know if you need it done give them a business card um you know everyone you see and if you're afraid of this <laughs> you're really going to be slowed down a lot um you just got to mention it. You don't have to like sell everyone you see, just like bring it up. And also next door and all of social media is a great place to get free organic traffic. In the beginning, don't stress about having a perfect social media. I would recommend if you have any home service business that you use next door, it is unbelievable. They have your perfect audience. And, and there's a ton of people already like advertising on there. I've gotten hundreds of clients from there just organically. I don't think I've ever bought a Nextdoor ad. But the first post I ever made about window cleaning on Nextdoor got me 20 customers. And it, I mean, it kind of blew up. It was an exception for sure. But it's just crazy how free different platforms are. You're not going to get a ton of business for your power washing company on TikTok because it's global the chance that you get someone who's local and who's actually interested and then clicks on the link and buys is very low. But if you go into Facebook groups for your specific area and you make a ton of posts there, that's a great place. Um, even if it gets half as many views, those views matter 20 times more than your TikTok. Find the right audience and just hammer down there. Don't stress about any of the other social medias, you know, you don't have to have a perfect Instagram, perfect TikTok right off the bat. Just focus where it matters. All right. So if you do step three properly, you will have so many customers you don't know what to do with. I promise you, if you go down and you message a hundred people just to like see if a, their friend needs your service, you will get so many customers. I promise you'll get enough to get started and buy your own equipment and that's really all you need for this phase now once you're past here you should be making your first couple hundred bucks maybe thousand off just like networking just asking people and from here you're going to go into a cycle which is that you start by you know doing jobs and then you improve your service you buy better equipment you get referrals and that links back and you increase your price and so this process will take six months to a year. Hopefully you're faster and you can get it done in a couple months to go from just starting to being the best in your area. And really you want to reinvest all of your profits back into better equipment, into learning how to you know, do your job better, everything. Don't try to cash out early when you're making 50 bucks an hour when you could reinvest that, buy equipment which will let you make 200 an hour in a month or two. And so that's super important. I highly recommend that you work by yourself until you're like fully mastered what you're doing. Then you can expand and train people. I mean, made a mistake of trying to hire like five or six employees right off the bat and, and just thought expand as much as possible. But I was going back to fix their mistakes more <laughs> than the time that they saved me. So it made no sense. And I work by myself now and I make 20 times as much and the customers are 10 times happier and it works out so much better because there's more of a personal relationship between you and the customer as opposed to when you have a business and you have a ton of employees who are just kind of rushing to get the job done. You don't really get connections. You don't really get referrals as much. You must have two things and these are super important. You have to have an LLC and you have to have insurance and these are the only two things that you need to start. LLC is going to protect you if something bad happens, if you get sued, hopefully you won't, or if you break someone's stuff, they're going to come after you. The LLC will separate your personal and your family's items from the business. So if, you know, if something bad happens, worst case, you lose the business, um, as opposed to if you're just working alone with no LLC, you have no protection. 
you're just kind of out there and if something bad happens it's completely on you and that's the second part you need insurance get the business insured not yourself you want general liability if you have employees you want workers compensation got to get all this stuff you got to learn all about insurance and what you want to get and if you need help with that feel free to message me i know a guy who does great insurance work this will cost you about 20 to 50 dollars a month when you're just starting out which is relatively low if, if that scares you just think about if you break someone's gutters while you're cleaning it now you owe them five grand for a new gutter system so really bite the bullet on this one trust me and you'll thank me later skip the bs when you're starting a business you don't need a logo you don't need a website um, you don't need a fancy branding and shirts and hats and stuff save that for down the road when you have the cash flow to be able to buy that stuff it will it's definitely good it'll help you but when you're just starting put zero time into that put all of your time into sales and improving your product that's all that matters don't worry about the BS I see so many people who are starting a business who make a social media and make a logo and make a website but they don't have any product and their sale and they have no sales and they haven't made any money and then they actually try the business they realize they suck shit at it and then they just lose everything so test the market first see what people want see if there's competition before you go and, and and really try to brand yourself again if you need help with any of these things feel free to message me i'm happy to help and of course i have contacts with you know the best of every single service business that's local to like boulder Niwak, colorado so if you want advice from real professionals who are doing it, feel free to message me and I can connect you to them. I hope this serves you well. Feel free to message me once you got your business going and, and hopefully we can do some work together in the future. Thank you.